There are nearly 2,000 vacant properties all across Cincinnati right now that the city knows of, and many of them are actually in over the Rhine. Neighborhood leaders say those buildings, well, they are a safety threat. As WCPO 9 News reporter Marielle Carbone shows us, there's a new push for better handling by the city. Signs like this and chained up doors aren't uncommon in over the Rhine. Some of them just lay around and go dormant for years. Properties sit vacant, attract squatters, and become dangerous. Perhaps the biggest reminder... You know, smoke was everywhere. The old Jackson Brewery, which went up in flames in December. If someone could get hurt, lose their life. It's why the OTR Community Council is asking the city to get a better handle on its vacant buildings. 211 vacant properties here in OTR are registered with the city, including this one here on Mohawk Street, which is listed as condemned. Now, that is more than any other neighborhood across the city of Cincinnati, and some community leaders here worry that there are more that are being overlooked. We know that there are more properties than, than are in the database. Right now, property owners are only required to register and get a vacant building maintenance license if the building isn't up to code. The license requires the owner to have insurance. But if the vacant building isn't reported or cited for a violation, it's not on the city's inventory. That's what the community council wants to change. We've reached out to the city to try to work systematically to figure out what's going on with these vacant properties. Just OTR community one, council say. member John Wilson it's says this information will keep the neighborhood safer and also help with future planning. We want to be strategic about making sure that the vacant buildings are improved. He says it also puts pressure on absentee owners to improve the property. If an owner is just sitting on it and not doing anything, we should try to get it out of that owner's hands. They need to check on their properties and uh, try to keep them up to date. In Over the Rhine, Marielle Carbone, WCPO 9 News. We actually spoke to the owner of that building on Mohawk. That building is currently being flipped, and he tells us the city's policy on vacant properties is pretty strict. You can find more details from him on our story on WCPO.com.